So this video is about lower key stage two and subtraction and particularly focusing in year three and year four on the difficulties surrounding column subtraction, decomposition. Um, teachers often say one or two things. They either say to me, look, um, my kids are having real trouble getting decomposition. It's really, really complicated and they don't seem to get it. Or they say they've got decomposition, fine, column subtraction, but now they're doing column subtraction for everything. So if you ask them to do 60 minus 57, they're drawing columns. It's a disaster. And I think both of those things come from much the same source. That is to say, subtraction is basically two different concepts. And children can get those two things muddled if we're not very clear. Subtraction is on the one side, mathematically speaking, it is taking away. So I have an amount and I'm taking some away. On the other side, it is finding the difference. It is counting up. So when I pay for change, when I'm buying something and I give change, I pay for something that's £4.23 and I give the person £5, I count up from £4.23 to £5 to find the change. Now, those two different concepts, taking away and counting up, have different strategies. And it is, we do not want children to use column subtraction for finding change. That's a disaster. And it comes back to bite us big time in the key stage two sats. So we definitely don't want that. So the important thing to do is to first of all, make sure they've utterly got the whole idea of mental strategies in subtraction, which involves counting up. On Hamilton, we call it frog subtraction, and we use a number line. And basically you start by saying 60 minus 57. Well, 57, three more makes 60, number bonds to 10. And then we extend it to 62 minus 57, hop to 50, 57 to 60, and then two more to 62. So that we're making sure that children are reinforcing those all important number bonds to the next 10 and to the next 100. Every time they do a counting up subtraction, counting to 100 or beyond, they are reinforcing their number bonds to 10 and their number bonds to 100, and they are reinforcing that understanding of place value. So getting that very well embedded before we even start column subtraction is really important. And I like myself to keep column subtraction till later rather than earlier. You get fewer problems. It's not a race. So actually starting column subtraction in year four, even in spring year four, is fine. So we make sure we've got those mental strategies firmly embedded before we introduce the more complex algorithm of column subtraction, which they then find that bit easier because they're that bit more mature. So leaving it later is definitely a bonus. If you want to find some activities which help you to develop the skills I've been talking about, particularly the mental strategies, but also introducing column subtraction, then you can find those if you click on the link below.